Well, let's start with this. You may remember with my story I did last month, leaders at Union Institute and University canceled its first fall session, claiming they needed more time to disperse financial aid to students. But in this letter, the U.S. Department of Education claimed Union owed its students $750,000 in federal financial aid and hadn't paid employee salaries in several pay periods. Classes were supposed to start again on November 6th, but that didn't happen. Instead, this email was sent out to students from the Vice President for Academic Affairs, Tom Frederick. It says that it was sent out just three days before classes were supposed to start. It said the second fall session had also been canceled. He said courses would resume in January. In that same email, he says these five programs will be taught out next year. And for those of you who don't know, I know I had to look it up. A teach out agreement is a contract between schools which allows a student to finish their program at another school. So students in social Social work, business management, psychology, organizational leadership, and dietetics and nutrition will be impacted by this. Now, right now, students can't even go to Union's website to find information because when you type in Union's web address, this is what comes up. It looks like the website is down. Meanwhile, court documents filed last Friday show a judge granted an eviction filed by Eden 500 LLC. There's that court document, which it is Union Institute's landlord. This is the building they had occupied on Florence Avenue in Walnut Hills. The courses offered at Union are all online, so the eviction shouldn't impact students too much at this point. But I talked to one student who didn't want to go on camera. He says he's close to finishing his bachelor's program, but he can't finish his courses because of what's going on. I've reached out to Union leaders many times in the last few months by email, voicemail, and even tried to stop by in person, but I haven't heard back yet. Megan. Chelsea, thank you. And the university's accreditation agency has placed it in a financial distress designation. Reps with that agency visited the school last month. As of today, Union is still accredited, but we're told the review process could take a while. Chelsea is going to continue to stay on top of this story and give us updates as soon as we know them. Crisis in the classroom. We are committed to helping schools identify problems and find solutions. If there's an issue in your district, bring it to Local 12's Chelsea Sick. Leave a tip at 513-223-3029 or email Local 12 Classroom Tips at Gmail or use her Facebook page. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.